Well, Mike, you know what? This is exactly what you do not want to happen when you start that car up today. We found a car trapped in high water right near Parkwood Meadow Road. This is in Westerville. That water was just too deep for the crews to fish the car out. But 10 TV's Tina Ramos is joining us now live from Westerville. And Tina, let's see if any of that water is going down anytime soon. It, you know, it's slowly going down, so it may take several hours. That means we're going to have a number of roads closed. And to show you the example of it, see the reflection of this fire hydrant? Well, that's actually a road that's underneath here. This is Brooks Edge Boulevard where we are. We're just around the corner from Park Meadow here. This is an area that was hit up pretty hard, too, when the rising water from the creek occurred. Back in here, this is a parking lot where a number of businesses are. Matter of fact, there were some cars or a couple of cars that are trapped way in the back over there that have water surrounding them. They were up to the bumpers at one point but are slowly going down. The bigger problem is going to be right here because this is just a strip plaza, has a number of businesses in it and there's water all around it. Again, the good news, some of that water is going down. The bad news, we just don't know exactly when they'll be able to get in there. Let me show you some of that video that we had from earlier this morning too because this really took people by surprise here that this water came up so quickly here in the Westerville area. It was about one o'clock this morning when Westerville police actually got the call and they saw the water just rising quickly from a creek just along Park Meadow and also around Brooks edge here. At that point, that's when they ended up closing off all the roads to make sure nobody goes in there. Unfortunately, some people did drive through the water, got stuck right in the middle of it. Matter of fact, the one woman said she told police at least that when she was driving, the water started coming up through the car. And at that point, that's when she stopped, got out immediately. She is safe. That's the good news to that. Meantime, back here again, as we're watching the water slowly go down, and I mean slowly go down, this is Brooks Edge here. This is going to probably be shut off here for another several more hours. So you you won't be able to get in here. Coming up next hour, though, we're going to take a look at some of the other businesses. Matter of fact, they went inside to see if indeed there was any water in there. We're going to see how bad it looked coming up at six. Reporting live in Westerville, Tino Ramos, 10 TV News.